Uh, what's your name? I'm Andy Harvey, councillor at Canterbury City Council, representing the Green Party. Okay. Well, what, what area do you represent? Uh, sorry, I represent West Bay, West so Bay. Herm Bay. Okay. Um, do, do you have a... Do you have a who's the candidate you're standing up in the uh, 2024 election? The forthcoming general election, I'm actually Herm Bay, which comes under the new Herm Bay and Sandwich constituency. So that's a lady called Tia Barrett, mm. who's really lovely. She's going to be excellent. Uh, in Canterbury, obviously, we've got a different area here. Up against Rosie Duffield, we've got Henry Stanton, who stood before for the Green Party. Excellent man, knows his stuff, really good on hustings. And we're looking forward to the election. Did you say good on hunting? He's good on hustings. Hustings, oh, Not hunting, okay. no, hustings is where the uh, candidates answer questions from the public. Yeah. He's a really good speaker, really knowledgeable, great Green Party guy. Yeah, okay. Um, I think he's probably anti hunting if I was to take a guess at yeah. Henry's stance. Yeah. <laughs> I'm anti hunting myself. Um, okay. Uh, do you think you stand a chance against Rosie Duffield? Because she's not here today, is she? Rosie Duffield is not here today. No, I haven't seen any other uh, candidates here. Uh, it's, it's going to be interesting because Labour have obviously lost a lot of votes from long-term supporters. Yeah. Conservatives have lost a lot of support. Uh, we've probably got a reform candidate in Canterbury as well who would also take a lot of the votes from the Conservatives. So I think it, it's all changed and Lib Dems as well to add to the mix. Yeah. So it, it's going to be interesting. So you think you stand a good chance in Canterbury then? I think we stand a good chance in Canterbury and I think uh, Rosie Duffel stands a good chance of not being back in uh, after yeah. the election. So she, you don't think she has, she's got a good record then? You, what, I think what? Rosie has a controversial record, doesn't she, <laughs> to say the least. Yeah, OK. Um, did, you, did you stand up? Uh, was there any like, difficulties uh, registering in Canterbury for, and, uh, or Home Bay for...? No, not, uh, not as a registering as such, but obviously it's very short notice for the election and it's holiday time when a lot of people are away. So we're all flat out now organising and campaigning, getting leaflets printed and making sure we comply with all the legislation for imprints, etc. on your literature and, and your boards and all your... All kind of social media posts now have to say that you're representing the Green Party and saying who the election agent is, who is, is, is Henry Stanton. Uh, yeah, we just have to make sure we get our heads around that and don't make any mistakes while we're rushing in the six-week period. OK. Uh, New Labour have been uh, slagging you off uh, lately, saying you're, you, you've, uh, you've, um, you're filling your ranks with uh, off-cast off, uh, off socialists. Um, no, I haven't heard anybody slagging us off in particular, no, I, I, yeah. I think we're, we're, we're quite well liked. Are you talking about locally or...? or well, no, nationally, uh, uh, there, there are I think that's major, purely... major Labour Party people have been like saying yeah. you, you, you're, you're part of um, disaffected socialists that uh, are, are been attracted to you because the Labour, Labour Party has thrown them all out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that, that, that's good. I, I like that. Yeah, I think it's just because they see us as, a, as an existential threat and yeah. they, they, they realise that um, their, their day is a numbered, in, certainly in certain places. And, um, yeah, no, disaffected socialists, where did they get that from? I think the disaffected socialists are the people leaving, leaving the Labour Party anyway, aren't they? Yeah. Keir Starmer won't come out and make a stand, won't call for a ceasefire call for decent peace talks for a two-party state you know they won't make a commitment and it, it, it's just shocking okay well what's uh, what is uh, the green party's uh, stance on um palestine the green party all along have been calling for a ceasefire saying we want a ceasefire straight away and proper talks you people need to get around the table yeah okay uh, so so what politically what what side are they what what are you? Are you are you right wing, left wing, socialist, capitalist, or what are you? Are you one of these broad, 
broad churches that collapse in on itself eventually. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Green Party has been around for an awful long time and I don't think we're going to be collapsing in on ourselves. We've already seen in, in Germany the coalition with the Green Party, in Scotland the coalition with the Green Party which unfortunately fell apart because of circumstances up there but that's what we want. We want the Green voice, voice in the room as we are at Canterbury. We've got four Canterbury City Councillors from the Green Party mm. and we're having an impact. We're making changes. We don't have to align with left or right or, you know, obviously we're a long way from reform and we're a long way from the Conservative Party. So we're probably closer to Labour and the Lib Dems, but there's a lot of issues we agree on and there's a lot of issues we disagree on. So mm. I wouldn't like to fall into any extreme category. So people really wouldn't be kind of like, uh, yeah, I know this is a difficult interview for you. Um, people won't be able to pin you down really, except on green issues. Uh, do you find that thing that's like, going to be a problem? The green issues are, are the social issues which affect everybody. We're looking at the main one affecting the country clearly is housing. Green Party have said all along we need the right houses at the right price in the right place. Definitely not what we're getting in Canterbury at the moment. We need to deal with the water companies and the sewage pollution. We can't go pumping sewage into the sea endlessly and building more houses and more sewage into the sea. Uh, issues that affect everybody. Cost of living crisis, cost of energy. Green Party have long called for insulation of homes so we have decent standard homes and that will bring down the cost of energy for everyone. We're building new homes now which have got no solar panels, which have got no decent standards of insulation. It's, right. it, okay, it, so they're threatening to build 2,000 houses because they're saying there's, there's not, enough, not enough houses, but they're, they're, they're build, all the houses that are being built are for people who've got money or landlords, etc. Well, what's your stats on council housing? Do you support council housing? We, we need more council housing, we need more genuinely affordable social housing and not using yeah. this yeah. criteria of affordable which isn't really. Not really. And no. like you say, we're building big three to four bedroom houses so we're catering for people often from outside the district who are coming in and taking those houses. When we've got a homeless crisis here and we need small one, two bedroom places, we've got an ageing population as well in the district we could deal with that situation of those older people who don't need the big houses. We could find a solution for that and thinking out of the box for the future of the district, what we need to be doing. Yeah, did you think council housing would bring down the prices of all the other, other housing available? Well, we have this stigma of council housing and the affordable housing or social housing is often put in the worst section of a development when there is any. It will be the worst quality housing in the worst part and that's why it gives it this stigma. But you look at the way other countries do it, look at places like Austria, council housing is something people aspire to. It's not something that people shun and why not? You should have a good quality affordable home for life and that's something that is, is an entitlement for everybody you know and it's just something you don't get and it's shocking for our young people who are coming up now who just never got hope of a decent home. Well, why do you think they've downgraded council housing to since Thatcher to uh, people for, for up housing only for poor people and other disaffected people uh, it's a good question isn't it it's, it's probably you, you put it down to one thing and it's too many years of, of conservative rule Thatcher selling off the council housing which was never replaced uh, so we were only left with the with the bad stuff that people didn't want to buy off the council perhaps mm -hmm. I don't know we've got just got a, a change our way of thinking as a nation to to address the problem and to house people okay well one more thing what what, what how's your what's your feelings on the, the nhs uh labor seem to be and the tories seem to be in favor of privatization although they don't actually say that um what's the greens uh well will they renationalize the nhs and take out the private uh, private interests. Yeah, that's, uh, it, the National Health Service is something that is the best thing this country has to offer and we need to put the investment into it that it needs. Whether there is a part for privatisation in, in parts of the National Health Service 
it's not my field of expertise I think but it's uh, you know there are probably certain things that can be taken off the National Health Service but we need that basic system that we all rely on and, and depend on um, what a great National Health Service we still have even though it's desperately struggling mm -hmm. and uh, the Green Party would support it we would support a wealth tax the 1% of the population who have extreme wealth who could be contributing a lot more and that will pay for a lot towards social housing and a lot towards the National Health Service and a lot towards Hello, improving camera. the standard of living for everybody. Nice to meet a supporter there. <laughs>